one of the best ways to find your sewer location um, will be to look on your curb and look for the letter S and you can see it right here I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on it give you a little close-up and of course this is a nice S you can see it it looks stamped out there's some type of a stamp they use for it but this isn't always going to be the case but this isn't always going to be the case. Every once in a while, you're going to run into something that looks like a number five and uh, or all sorts of different things. I've seen them, they look like a Z, you know? Um, so the, the first thing I think you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that this isn't um, the wrong thing, like someone actually didn't just scratch a Z into your curb, is to look for a W. If there's a W on your curb and that doesn't look real, you know, real good or something like that, and then you see an S or something that looks like an S, then um, it, the, the, that should give you a pretty good idea that this is where you're going to, your sewer pipe is going to be coming in. The W represents the water coming into the house or the water supply line, and the S is the sewer or the waste leaving the house. And now for the bad news. The, just because you find the S doesn't mean that the sewer is only going to be about six inches in the ground. There will be cases sometimes where the sewers um, can be, uh, you know, 15 feet in the ground. So just because you find the location of it coming in doesn't mean that you're not going to have to do some serious digging to find this pipe.